Hello my dear students. Students of class 9 and 10, welcome to my class. Today I am going to discuss on chapter 2 physical fitness. I am Shanzi Bishas, lecturer in physical education and Vashan Manishi, Prajagutra Model College, Dhaka. Let's start. The main objective of physical education are gaining physical fitness. So, it is important for students to have a clear idea about components of physical fitness, their relation with games and sports and ways of evaluating physical fitness. Students can develop physical fitness through physical exercise. Though there are a different a defining types of physical exercise for boys and girls, they should know the role of specific games and sports in developing strength, endurance, speed, power, agility, and flexibility. Students will be able to lead healthy life and disciplined uh, life by gaining physical fitness. Generally, physical fitness means ability to do work. In broader sense, physical fitness refers to ability to maintain health and moral life relating biological existence. Physical fitness includes one physical, mental and social fitness. Therefore, it is thought that physical fitness and wellness are a holistic approach. A man with physical fitness can also maintain mental health, emotionally balance, and social relationship beside physical health to explain physical fitness as a holistic. So let's see what are the outcomes of this chapter. At the end of the chapter, we will able to explain importance of physical fitness. Explain ways of attaining physical fitness. Discuss positive aspects of physical exercise for attaining physical fitness. Describe and practice which physical exercise is suitable for boys and which is suitable for girls to have physical fitness. Realize effects of strength, speed, endurance, power, agility, flexibility in attaining. So let's see the definition of physical fitness the ability of carry out daily tasks with vigor and alertness without undue fatigue and with ample energy to enjoy leisure time pursuit and to meet unforeseen emergencies this is the simple definition of physical fitness so physical fitness has five components but it is used in two close meaning one is general fitness, a state of health and well-being, and another is specific fitness, a task-oriented, based on the ability to perform specific aspects of sports or occupations. So let's see the two come to side of physical fitness, health-related physical fitness, and skill-related physical fitness. Health related physical fitness components are body composition, cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, flexibility, strength. On the other hand, skill related physical fitness components are strength, endurance, speed, agility, and flexibility. One thing I would like to tell you that health related physical fitness should follow the sedentary person or those uh, who follow the general those who lead the uh, general lifestyles like uh, sedentary lifestyles you know the common people on the other hand skill related physical fitness uh, components uh, this is very much needed for athletes or player because they have to perform better they have to increase their strength, speed, endurance, exiting, flexibility, etc. So, for highest level of sports performance, they should acquire these skills. Health related physical fitness aspects that relates to how well your body works. On the other hand, skill related physical fitness aspects that form the basis for successful sports performance. So let's talk about the components of physical fitness. First component is endurance. What is endurance? Endurance is the ability to do sports movements 
with the desired quality and speed under condition of fatigue. Long distance running is an activity that helps to develop endurance. How to improve endurance? Run slowly and continuously for a long time. Run across uneven places or you can say cross country days. Uh, run one kilometer on the first day, one and a half kilometer after three days. So this is an example. When you adjust with a load, maybe you can start to one kilometer for three weeks. Then after three weeks, you can go for one and a half kilometer. And then again after three months, uh, three weeks to one month or three months two months uh, you can increase the load i mean you increase the duration so i hope you are realized that endurance means working capacity for a long time without being tired so another important uh, physical fitness components very much important components of physical fitness that is strength so let's see what is strength so strength is the ability to overcome resistance or to act against resistance. This is addressed by such activities as weightlifting and bodyweight training. Now, how to develop strength? There are a lot of methods to develop strength. You can gain strength using your own body weight or doing exercise. You can uh, increase your strength using apparatus. I mean, go, go to the gymnasium. So. There are the few examples of increasing hand muscle strength. You just read out it just like arm curl, line supine position, and push up balls up and down hands. And uh, push up can be another important uh, exercise to strengthen your hand muscle. Uh, uh, throw the medicine ball. Using medicine ball like this, you see. Uh, uh, there are various types of medicine ball and uh, according to your own ability you can choice it uh, 2 kg, 3 kg, 4 kg, 5 kg, uh, 6 kg whatever you need it or uh, whatever you can so using this uh, weight ball or medicine ball you can increase your hand muscle strength, arm strength so different type of exercises of hands in gym, multi gym we can develop strength of hands shoulders by doing above mentioned physical exercise system as per instructions of the trainer uh, to compare before completing this uh, session that every time when you are taking part in this sort of exercises or uh, when you are uh, trying to gain physical fitness so before doing any sort of activities be sure you are well prepared i mean you should take warm up okay so another important conditional components or physical fitness components is agility so what is called agility agility is the ability to perform a series of movement in rapid succession in opposite in opposing direction the following physical exercise can be improved agility let's see another definition Agility is the ability to change direction without the loss of balance, strength, speed, or body control. Dear students, you know, uh, there are various method, methods of uh, developing agility. Agility is one of the most important conditional uh, components or physical fitness components. Um, because, you know, in, very, in many games, we have to change the direction. We have to, like, football. So when we are going to play football, Obviously, we should not run in a linear way or a straight line, straight way. We, we have to change the direction. Why? To dog the opponent or sometimes to tackle the opponent or to hold the ball. We have to change the direction and we change the direction with high speeds, maximum time. So these are the ability to, uh, uh, these are the uh, ability, uh, this is called agility, we can say, because if you able to change your direction with high speed without losing balance strength speed it is agility i think you
speed another important components of physical fitness so let's see what's, what is called physical fitness or what do you mean by speed speed means quickness of movement the faster one can move the more speed they have 25 meter and 50 meter spin again and again run on sand to strengthen muscles if we break this above mentioned physical exercise it will ensure strength and growth of the leg muscle that means if you gain more strength of your leg muscle that will help to gain more speed very simple on the other hand you can say quickness of muscle quick movement this is speed and especially <clears throat> ideal example 100 meter sprint 200 meter sprint in athletics event 400 meter sprint where we see the highest speed now how to improve speed in supine position move your legs up and down in gymnasium move the iron weight in and out using leg you see using apparatus but without using apparatus we can do a lot of exercise also you can find out uh, in uh, youtube uh, also you can use a treadmill in your room uh, you can run for a long time and uh, if it is electric treadmill you can maintain the speed and um, practice 25 to 50 meters sprint again and again you can run on the sandy place or uneven place or uphill running or downhill running country cross country etc etc so run on sand to strengthen muscle if we practice above mentioned physical exercise it will ensure strength and growth of leg muscle so it increase our speed so the last components of physical fitness is flexibility so flexibility is the ability to move a joint or series of joints smoothly and easily throughout a full range of motion and uh, you know there are few uh, events or uh, games and sports where flexibility is needed and um, we can develop our flexibility by stretching and a ballistic method and there are a lot of methods to develop flexibility uh, so let's see what is flexibility oh we already know flexibility how how to develop flexibility stand up on a bench with your legs straight bend your forward slowly keeping hand attached to ears to the own uh, whose, whose, whose body bends more than other is more flexible so look, look at the body portion so this is the flexibility range of movement so by doing this exercise you can develop your flexibility and uh, this is the another uh, method the best method <coughs> sit on the ground keeping your legs straight and try to touch your toes while your hands are attached to the ears so look this is the best method and one thing i would like to tell you that when you are going to uh, take part in a flexibility or in a stretching session um, don't jerk you do exercise according to your limitation because you know uh, joint motion or a range of movement it's very man to man maybe somebody can touch their nose on uh, somebody can touch their nose on toes maybe somebody cannot bend more than 40 degrees or 30 degrees maybe somebody can bend uh, almost um, more than 90 degree 100 degree so when you want to take part in the flexibility exercise or stretching part uh, don't jerk you just hold on at your best now see importance of physical fitness why you should gain physical fitness or what are the importance in? it helps you live longer and prevent many chronic diseases it helps to improve cardiovascular health and develop muscular strength it strengthens the lungs it reduces blood sugar levels 
It controls weight. It strengthens bones. It reduces blood pressure. It improves energy levels. It enhances emotional well-being. It reduces stress, anxiety, and depression. It increases brain functions, quick thinking abilities, and problem-solving capabilities. It improves your sleep quality. It improves your overall quality of life. So I hope you see there are a lot of benefits of physical fitness. If you would like to lead a healthy life, obviously, that's my advice that you should gain physical fitness. Now, variation of games for gaining physical, uh, gaining specific physical fitness. There are different types of physical exercise for different sports. A single type of physical exercise is not applicable for all games and sports. Mm -hmm. For example, the strength of hand is more required in some games, while the strength of leg is more important in some other games. Game-specific physical exercise or physical fitness is essential for better performance. Look at the chart. The following chart shows types of physical fitness for specific games the requirement of physical ability is shown in the table below so what do you, what does it mean by s or m or l look s mean highly necessary where m mean moderately necessary l mean less necessary so more or less you will see all games uh, all games require uh, a better physical fitness whereas Components of physical fitness, which I told you earlier and previous slide, you will see the few games require more strength, maybe the other games require more speed, maybe few games require both speed and strength, maybe few games require endurance, speed, agility, etc. So you just look at it. Uh, this is a common chart, you will find it on your, uh, in your textbook. So, it just read out it. Importance of physical exercise according to age and gender. You know, as a physical education teacher or trainer or an, or an instructor, when they are preparing for the training session or make a training session, obviously they should keep in mind uh, the age of the students. It is very much important when we make a plan or we make some uh, uh, schedule, training schedule, we just keep these things in our mind because training depends on uh, the type of training or so load or any other or many other things it depends on age and gender. The same way, maybe at a certain period of time or certain level, uh, we do not differ boys and girls. We don't we do not uh, consider these things but after 16 years 14 years or uh, during adult or youth when we are going to take when we are going to prepare in a lesson or uh, a training session we should keep these things in our mind because same types of activities cannot be helpful for uh, boys and girls so based on gender we should prepare our lesson or we should make our training session so dear students i'd like to give you some homeworks because now you are free so i'd like to give you multiple choice question uh, that you just you will find the answer uh, through this presentation or you can take help uh, from your textbook uh, just i'm uh, going to read the question only which organization explain the overall ideas of physical fitness next question who has given the definition of physical fitness for four option is four options are given for you find out the correct answer what is the maximum age of a volleyball player how much blood is pumped by a sedentary person per minute 
when does the blood circulation increase how much red blood cell should be there in one cubic milliliter of blood of a car which of the following is produced in the bones after how many days red blood cells are expired how long do the white blood cell exist endurance is needed for what a volleyball player should have which game bring about good physical fitness for almost all kinds of games we need which one can improve agility which will be improved through 10 meter shuttle run what do the red blood cells do which one is mostly needed for football or football player what are including physical fitness according to the offer what is related to genetics and last of all how should be the strength of abdomen for playing handball so that's all my dear students thank you for your attention stay home stay safe